Fine, how are you? I'm okay. You sound kind of sad. Are you okay? Oh, oh you're dropping me again. Sorry. Can we just start on the... Ah, uh, well, did you tune already? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, what do you have to show me? Um, the first... First? Okay, well, in that case, why don't you play for me a D-flap major scale two notes per bow with very consistent sound and with vibrato non-stop. How many bows? Two. Oh, Bella, I want it to vibrate. I want it to sound beautiful throughout the scale.
there, and I want you to sometimes try to vary them. Now, are you playing clear scales for me now? Yes. Okay, good. Helen, dear, what, what is wrong? You are so grumpy today. Did you have another fight with your mother? How old are you, child? Eleven. Eleven? You're not allowed to fight your mother for another two years, remember? Mm. Then it is your holy right. But now you have to be sweetheart. Come on. <laughs> anyway, show me your double stops from the flash, please. <laughs>
sometimes you don't need to vibrate, you just need to play them ridiculously oh, clean. Yeah. So let's see how ridiculously clean your octaves are. No, play the octaves and don't vibrate them, but still uh, play them on a slow. step away? No, penultimate means the last before very last. So if you look at your arpeggios, find the very last one. Oh, the second the to last uh, arpeggio. What? The second to last arpeggio? Exactly, exactly. That's a penultimate arpeggio and it is a diminished seven. What are you doing? You like? You look like a circus girl. You have uh, standing on one leg, you twisted yourself and you wiggle in your boat. Standing like this is good, wiggling your bow or not, because you can drop it and break it. Come on, silly girl. When are you coming back to visit me? Uh, July. July, good, let's go. Are you going to join me for Chiyang? Don't know. Oh. Well, I wish you could come to Hawaii. Do you swim? I know how to swim. Oh, good. All right. Let's go. Um, what key do I do it in? Oh, the same arpeggio flash. You do the flash stuff. Go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Making you waste what? No, 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 no. Two notes per bow and stuff. And there, there.
So you need to remember that when you shift and you play the melodical line like this, especially the very dramatic one, you don't stop vibrato before the shift. You use vibrato to shift. It's an energy that moves your hand much easier and you will learn to play much cleaner and much easier. Got that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now run the first movement of Bach. No stop, you go from the beginning to the end, final speed, final everything. Just the first movement? For now, yes. We'll work on all of them, but for now, just the first. I just need to shield again. That's my mm -hmm. speed. If you want to, you can use the metronome. I don't mind. Okay. Thank you. That's not even... Exactly, and I will tell you how to do it the lazy way. 
You know, sometimes when we actually um, working with a metronome, we are too lazy to sort of change the metronome or stop the metronome, and then we don't practice well because of it. I will tell you how to practice without touching the metronome. So turn it back on. Good. Now, remember that it was a little hazardous there. So let's do some work. You play exactly, exactly twice slower and every note that is not legato, you play like a little martelle, short martelle, kind of staccato and try now start, 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 ba, ba, ra, ra. start from the beginning of that sequence. Something for me. I want you to play that da 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 again, but 
in a certain way. I want you to play for me like this. Da 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 di, da 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 da, da 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 da. Have a click in between. Don't waste the bow, but vibrate the, the, that final note. Da 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 da, vibrate. Da 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 da, vibrate. Okay. Okay. Okay, now play for real. Play beautiful, powerful, and strong. <laughs> 
Do I do it at the real tempo or the... You will? No, and uh, this just helps you to align your fingers so that together with the bow. When you play real tempo, you play it normal way. But for now, place the kata, play slow, and vibrate the long note. So, ta da But attack the first note, vibrate the third note. Got it?
beautiful, incredibly musical. You're making some uh, hazardous things, like some notes don't speak, or maybe a couple of notes slightly out of tune, and I think you need to, uh, maybe not every day, but maybe every other day, just take a moment and record yourself and listen to this. You do sound good, but I think your integrity of playing could be even better. Understand? Now let me see if I could do something right now to help you out a little bit. Okay, that is really awfully fast. Why is it that way? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, what if we do... What if we do like this? That's too slow, too slow! Too slow. What is your uh, standard tempo? Usually like 60 for the quarter note. No, you play much faster for me today. Yes, I do. Yes, you did. I practice at 60. No, practicing is good, but performing should be faster. Uh, that may be still a little bit too fast. Let's see. How about... That's a good tempo. Now, let's change the... Okay, view, <laughs> studio, view, and change the sound to harpsichord. I like harpsichord better than piano. Here we go. And violin, we change into the piano. Grand piano. And now, what we need to do is to add... Insert one bar. Insert measure stack, one bar. And... Now we need to do this. Hang on a second. Oh, I know how to do it. Give me a second. We need to do the eights. All right, like this, and now the notes. No wrong, right here. Okay, now we need to have a listen, and I think I'm almost done. Ooh, how cool! Oh, that is so cool! Now we just need to save it as an audio file. Export as audio file. And we're going to export this MP3 for L on the desktop. Give me a second. So, what's the fastest way for me to send you a file? Mm. Text? Yes. Do you get a text on the iDevice? You can text it to me. Uh, you can text oh, it to okay, my good. mom. Hang on a second. I need to test that file. That is very cool. Now, send it to... I'm glad that it worked. Sometimes the software bu uh, bugs me, but this time seems to work out just beautiful. Okay. It's sending right now, so... 
Ask your mom to receive that file. It will give you four notes count off, and then you play your piece like you play with an orchestra. And that's the way for you to practice, except obviously it's going to be a, a dumb computer, so it's not going to be flexible, right? But it will still give you the drive, and when you record your part instead of that dumb computer, you would be better. Go. Try now. It's going to be fun. I love doing this. Now, from beginning, from the beginning, it, go, it gives you one, two, three, four. Bum, bum. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Two, three, four. right there so is, is it no it's supposed to go to the end of the piece does it not it does not oh okay interesting let me see I mean it stopped where Ella just stopped I just checked it huh yeah I'm looking at the file and it's the same well 
I will try to fix it for you, but this is a good experience where I do practice myself with uh, this kind of thing when I play Bach concertos with the orchestra. I practice with the harpsichord and I uh, basically train myself to be very expressive, to be very, very beautiful and powerful, but stick to the time. And it's just so much more fun to play with this than to play with a metronome. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It is also better because it gives me a sense of the harmony. So if normally I play very much in tune, but if I have a tendency to bend the intonation one way or another, or you know, one long note, for example, in vibrato goes a little bit off the key, I can hear it against the harpsichord. Harpsichord is very crisp, right? I prefer the harpsichord over the piano because piano is a little bit muffled and the harpsichord is pretty, really sharply crisp. Understand? Mm -hmm. So, I will try to figure that out. I don't know if I could do it right away because I have ridiculous uh, concert on Monday with San Dominica. I play with a million and a half of quartets, but I will definitely fix that for you. Perhaps you could uh, text me on Monday to remind me. And if I will have time before that, I will fix that for you. I don't know why is it not the whole file. And it's in my laptop. It should be full. Okay? Okay. And you need to practice all movements. And eventually, I, I could send you a file for the second and third, but I don't want to now because in the first one, I know your temper. And I do not want to dictate you my temper. I want you to find yours. Mm -hmm. And when I have your drive, then I will create the file with your drive. And then you will record the orchestral parts you know, with your sister. And guess what? We will attach the harpsichord to that recording as well. And you can even sit down in front of the keyboard and pretend to play. <laughs> or, you know, put the bunny with your bunny plays on the harpsichord and stuff like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I love you. Be good. Thank you. You're very welcome.